Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing about working of power MOSFET. In the previous video, I have explained the structure of power MOSFET and the video link will be available in the description box. Please do check the video first. As you can observe, this is a basic structure of power MOSFET. We have gate terminal. It is also known as control terminal, then drain and the source. Actually, we have four layers. N plus layer, then P layer, N minus layer, then N plus layer. I didn't show N minus layer over here. Now, let us understand how does it work. First and the foremost, what you are supposed to do is you need to connect a battery source between gate and source terminal. Let me show you the modified diagram. As you can observe, I have connected a battery source between gate and the source. That means gate terminal. This is a part of source terminal. So I have connected VGS. VGS means the voltage between gate and source. It is basically a battery source, DC source. I hope it is very clear. As soon as I have connected VGS. The positive charges will be accumulating over here as shown in this manner. Positive charges that will be accumulating over here. As we know that the MOSFET gate shows capacitance. Due to the presence of capacitance at the gate terminal and induced negative charges that will be forming in the opposite plate. So you can see slowly negative charges are forming in the opposite plate. This is because of capacitance. Okay, so initial stage, these things are happening. Now let us see, if I increase VGS, what is going to happen? So let me increase the value of VGS. VGS is nothing but the gate source voltage. I'll be increasing the value of VGS. Whenever I'm going to increase the value of VGS, let's see what is going to happen. As the VGS increases, you can observe VGS is going to increase. I'm going to increase the magnitude of VGS so that the magnitude of positive charges that is also getting accumulated more. Okay, that means VGS is getting increased so that what is going to happen, the positive charges that will be accumulating more. This results the formation of negative charges in the opposite layer. So negative charges will be increasing more in this particular region. So you can observe the marker here. So this is actually the negative charges. Negative charges are getting increased. It is very clear. Okay. Because of increasing negative charge or more number of negative charges are accumulating in the opposite layer. Because of this, an induced channel is formulating between these two layers. See, this is an induced channel. There is an induced channel that will be formulating in this layer. This is because whenever you are increasing VGS, positive charges are accumulating over the, at the opposite side, the negative charges are increasing more. This results the formation of induced channel. Next, what you are supposed to do is, you need to connect the source, a particular source, say, one, one of the battery source that must be connected between drain and source. I'll be showing you the diagram. So I'm going to connect a battery between drain and source. Okay, a potential. I need to apply a potential between drain and source. A, a voltage source. Okay, now what is going to happen? Whenever I'm going to provide VDS, okay, already we can say that there is an induced channel. Because as I increase the VGS, po uh, positive charges will be uh, obtaining over there. Because of that, negative charges will be accumulated over there. As a result, induced channel will be formulating. That means there is a presence of channel uh, that is connecting between these two layers. That is very clear. N plus is the top layer and then uh, another N plus is the bottom layer. I have already explained the structure. Please do visit that particular video. So induced channel is already present over there. Now what you are going to do, you are going to connect a battery source between drain and source. Okay, when I connect a battery source between drain and source, what is going to happen? The thing is a current flow that will be generating from drain to source. 
how current will be passing that means there is already an induced channel you have to remember this okay because of induced channel a current path that will be uh, that will be moving from drain to source that current is called id id is known as drain current so drain current will be formulating uh, or beginning from drain to source let me show you the diagram see uh, after that the current that will be uh, for flowing from the drain to source so this current is called a drain current it is also called as output current output current output current or you can call it drain current also output current or you can call it drain current id it is denoted by the letter id one more important point i would like to tell you as the vgs increases the value of id the magnitude of id is also getting increased this i wanted to say that power mosfet is purely a voltage control device it is very clear it is a voltage controlled device unlike power bjt power bjt is basically a current control uh, current control device where power mosfet is basically voltage control device it may be asked in the viva examination why it is known as voltage control device as the vgs increases obviously the magnitude of current is also getting increased so you can able to control the output current by controlling the gate source voltage that is why it is called voltage control device this is the way how power mosfet is getting operated i hope the session is useful for you if you are having any queries you can put up in the comment box in the next video i am going to discuss about the static and switching characteristics of power mosfet finally Thank you very much for your kind support.